Dr. Julie Shell from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital. And today I would like to show you how to massage a large breed dog. This is Starsky, and he has arthritis, so we shouldn't really let him jump too high. But anyway, um, he definitely has some pain and stiffness. And so first of all, what I'm going to do is apply some Panaway, which is an essential oil blend from Young Lady that <laughs> basically helps prevent um, arthritis and pain, and it improves muscle flow. There's a lot of pine, wintergreen, there's clove, there's helichrysum, so it's very nice for dogs. So I just basically apply it to his back. He's very excited today. And then you can just kind of massage it all in with your fingertips, and that also helps calm him down, and he'll be nice and relaxed. So the, the first massage that I'd like to do is a twin on. It's called a traditional Chinese veterinary medicine massage. And I just take my hand, and it's basically rolling, kind of like a rolling pin. So you basically kind of use the blade of your hand to massage all the way down his back and all the way down his arms. And that helps basically relieve a lot of arthritis and a lot of stagnant blood and stagnant um, lymph tissue. And it also helps um, improve basically muscle contraction and decreases pain. And as you can see, he kind of leans into it. You can really focus in on the areas that the dog tells you to focus in on. The next is a nice rotary massage. It's a nice vigorous massage, and Starsky really likes this. He has a lot of good practice doing um, massage and letting people massage him. And he really needs to have this done every day and even more than once a day. The more you can massage your dog, the better. There's really no limit unless the dog is kind of at its maximum and starts walking away or just looks like he doesn't want to cooperate. So Starsky really lets me do a good vigorous massage and I'm really focusing in on some of the big muscle groups. And as you can see, he's leaning in. <laughs> he really, really likes it done. And you can either do this with you sitting on the floor, or you can do this standing up to get like different angles and just work your way right into all of his joints. And that's a nice rotary massage. Starsky has lost a lot of weight, which is also really good at helping prevent arthritis. And his neck muscles are definitely um, nice um, to massage. They're, basically really tight in a dog that's trying to prevent a lot of weight to going on his hind leg, the dog will compensate and will try to push weight on his front leg and transfer the weight on his front leg instead. So it's good to really do a good job of massaging the front leg. It's a good workout. You'll feel that you're using a lot of your own energy to give to the dog and the dog really accepts that energy. So it's a really nice workout for owners. It's really good for your own forearm strength. Um, and then the next for him, look how he really likes that, hey? He's leaning into the spots that really, really need um, attention. The next massage that I'd like to do for Starsky is basically a pulling technique where you grab his big pieces of skin and you just kind of pull up and out. And what that does is it helps relieve tissue adhesions. A lot of times there's connective tissue that's adhering to the underlying muscles and, and basically the skin and muscle kind of can be um, too trapped on each other and that helps, that causes a lack of blood flow. So it's good to just kind of squeeze him and pull this beautiful chunks of skin outwards and he really enjoys that. You don't want to use just one finger, you want to use your whole hand and uh, pull it toward you. And that's a lot of fun for him. The other thing you can do is take your hand and just kind of press down into the muscles and that's a pressing technique and you can go all the way down his long leg muscles and joint muscle and all of the, the back muscles and his hind leg muscles and, and go with that. He really likes that. He'll <laughs> just basically stay here all day if you let him. The other one that I really like is the shaking. So you just kind of take his leg and just loosen up the, the muscles there and loosen up the joints. You don't want to be too vigorous and you want to only go in the same alignment with his body and definitely talk to your veterinarian before doing this method because if they have a ligament tear, you definitely wouldn't want to be doing it there. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes that. Good boy. <laughs> so you notice how he wants his bum massaged area, his black hand massage, so that's really good. And the other thing you can do is basically give him good brushing and get rid of all this extra fur because that will also improve circulation and, and get all of that flow um, moving a lot better and definitely a dog really enjoys that. And the other thing you can do is do the patting technique, which is basically you're kind of cupping your hand and patting it all the way along his back. And he'll definitely lean into the areas that he wants to be patted. And that's a good way to also break down tissue adhesions and, and help 
improve blood flow. Good boy. So definitely this is great to do in combination with acupuncture and chiropractic, as well as other forms of physiotherapy. So if you have any questions, please give us a call at Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital. Our number is 403-278-1984. And our website is www.bowbottomvet.com. Thank you very much.